morning everyone and welcome back to my channel i'm in a very very good mood this monday morning which is kind of surprising considering it's monday and i haven't had my morning coffee yet um but do you know what i thought would be really fun this morning i was just about to get myself ready to get my face on get my makeup on and i thought you know what let's try something new together so this is the laura mercier tint and moisturizer this is the new oil free tint and moisturizer which i've never tried before and i used to love the laura mercier tint and moisturizer but in all honesty i stopped using it because it wasn't quite dark enough for my summer skin like obviously my fake tan which is a very different color from my face um it wasn't quite dark enough for me so i kind of stopped using it and i haven't used it since um and laura mercier sent me the new oil free ones to test out and i thought we could test them out together because i know we love doing a little try on it together so in case you're wondering in terms of shades they sent me two shades one of them is definitely going to be my winter shade and then this one is my summer shade this is 2n1 nude um which i think is going to be just like a nice glowy shade um i'll compare it to the nars groinland um because this is the tinted moisturizer i've been using recently and i have been loving it like absolutely loving it it's a really really nice one but it's like I don't know, I just wanted to try the Laura Mercier one, see if it's a bit more lightweight, um, and see if it kind of like stays on my skin a little bit more, because I do really, really enjoy the NARS one. Um, but I wanted to try the Laura Mercier one because I've heard some good things. So I thought we could test it out together because as I said, this is my first time trying it. Okay, just from first impressions, it looks a little bit lighter than the NARS one, but we shall see once it's on the skin and oxidizes. Just going in with my favorite Sigma brush. Okay, so as I was first applying it, I was like, God, this is a lot lighter than um, the NARS growing on. Sorry if I'm squinting a bit, by the way. It's very bright today. Um, so I feel like, because you're right next to the window, I'm like, wow. Um, when I was first putting it on, I was like, oh, this is a lot lighter than growing on. But actually, it is oxidizing. And I definitely think it's oxidizing a little bit darker. And I quite like it, actually. I think it's a very nice, very nice shade. In terms of how light it is, I definitely say it's lighter than the NARS one. Um... It feels very nice on the skin though. So I'll be interested to see how this wears throughout the day because obviously it's like oil free and I've never, I don't think I've ever tried like an oil free tint of moisturizer. I don't have necessarily oily skin, I have quite dry skin. Um, so I kind of wanted to see how it works well on my skin. Um, so yeah, first impressions, I do like it. I think it's very, very nice. I think the, um, the shade is definitely spot on. I think it's a very, very nice shade. And I think I'll be interested to see how it wears. So I'm going to get on with doing the rest of my makeup now because you would have literally just seen how I do my makeup, my morning routine if you watched my last video. If not, I'll be sure to link it here. But I'm going to get on with doing the rest of my face, getting myself ready for the day and making myself beautiful. <laughs> Oh, that is a good iced coffee. I feel like there's nothing better than a nice iced coffee in the morning. I think part of the reason for my really, really good mood this morning is just because of the weather that we finally, finally have been having. Like this past week has actually been so, so nice in terms of weather, which has been amazing. So I feel like we've been waiting so, so long here in the UK for the nice weather to actually hit. We had like a couple of nice days, like a little bit of a heat wave in June, I think it was. And then for pretty much the entirety of July, it has just been dire, 
absolutely dire so i feel like we deserve this nice weather right now and we deserve to have a bit of a heat wave so that we can actually enjoy summer a little bit because oh, i feel like it's been such a long time coming so i feel like I am someone that gets so, so affected by like the seasons and the weather and things like that and I definitely have SAD and the fact that we've had such miserable weather recently I think has been pulling me down a little bit and I've just been feeling a bit like, oh, it's supposed to be summer, it's supposed to be nice and warm and sunny and we should be going out and doing things every weekend. It's just been raining, which has been such a shame because it means that we're not able to enjoy summer properly. So I'm so excited about the warm weather, which is also part of the reason why I wanted to try out the new tinted moisturiser just because whenever it comes to like hot weather or heat waves i like to change things up a little bit i like to maybe like rearrange my makeup because i just want to feel like there is nothing on my skin like i like my makeup to feel as lightweight as possible and as easy as possible it's part of the reason why i do you know with my little like eyeliner flick i actually did a like an actual eyeliner um look recently um instead of using the eyeshadow that i normally do and honestly guys i can't tell you how heavy my eyes felt throughout the day like honestly i felt so tight and i was like why do my eyes feel so heavy and it wasn't until i got to the end of the day and i realized it was because of the eyeliner that was on them so it's one of those things where i think just like little changes to your makeup routine is so important in this kind of weather when it's like really really hot and you just want to be really comfortable while still looking nice because there's nothing worse than it's like a heat wave and you're sweating and you feel horrendous and you look horrendous and there's just like nothing worse than that so i was thinking it's nice to have a bit of a like refresh with your makeup and everything like that and just try some new things and actually saying that i've just realized i've not sprayed any of my max prep and prime so i should probably spray that now literally the best product in the world when it comes to heat waves and when it comes to keeping your makeup on not just the heat waves actually but whenever i have to go out and wear a mask i'll always use this and i find it's the only thing that actually keeps my makeup on my face and it's so refreshing as well it feels so nice okay first question what do we think of a straight bob this is the first time i'm wearing it straight on my channel i'm kind of feeling it I'm kind of feeling it, so let me know what you guys think. I am just loving, loving the length. I definitely think my hair is gonna help a lot more in terms of this heat as well, because I think having less hair is gonna make it a little bit better during the hot weather. I won't lie, normally when the weather gets like really, really hot, I just hate how my hair feels on the back of my neck. So I'm quite excited about the fact that it's a bit shorter, a little bit lighter. We'll have to see how we go. So speaking of heat waves and hot weather and all the summer goodness that is coming i'm so so excited to show you this little heat wave haul that i have done and i'm really really excited to let you guys know that this next part of the video is actually an integrated paid for advertorial with amazon fashion which is i think one of the most underrated places to find so so many gorgeous fashion items i love shopping on amazon fashion i actually do quite a few like blog posts featuring some of like my favorite amazon fashion roundups amazon home loads of different pieces that i can pick up from amazon it's just my favorite favorite place to shop especially with prime it's so so easy so as you can see I have a couple of boxes here beside me and I wanted to show you a few pieces that I have been picking up mainly kind of for the heat wave for like hot weather styling because I'm really really excited about the weather to get hotter and you guys know how much I love updating my wardrobe throughout different seasons and especially like if there's like little changes and stuff and I definitely think for me having like a really curated wardrobe for a heat wave is so so important some pieces that i reach for time and time again really like classic items to add into my wardrobe that i can bring out every single summer when the weather gets this hot again so in terms of format i'm going to show you all the pieces first then we're going to cut away to like the try-ons how i'm styling them up because i really really enjoy showing you guys like how i'm styling pieces up at the moment and i know you loved my last haul when i kind of did it as like the products and then the try-on so the first item I wanted to show you is this absolutely stunning little dress. Now, I feel like this wasn't going to be a petite telly haul without a little white dress. And I absolutely adore this. I feel like it has so many style features that I love. Little puff sleeves. Embroidery on blaze. A cute little rara skirt. Oh my god, there are so many pieces of this dress that I love. And I just love it. I absolutely love it. I think it's the cutest little summer dress. You guys know I love a really like breathable, lightweight summer dress, especially when there's a heat wave. I feel like there's nothing more important than being really comfortable in your clothing when there's a heat wave. And you don't want anything too heavy, you don't want anything too tight on your skin. So a dress like this is just absolutely stunning. Now, this is quite a like smocked dress, and I feel like we all know 
I'm not going to wear it smocked because I don't ever wear dresses that are smocked but I will show you how I'm going to be styling it up with the next item. I just love the little like kind of Peter Pan collar. I feel like this is a style trend that I haven't seen in a little while and I think it's really really sweet because it kind of gives you that little like V. It's quite flattering on your chest without being too much. So I think this is such a gorgeous little summer dress that I'm going to be belting. Of course, I have to add a belt. Now, I've been after a little thin brown belt for so, so long. And you're not going to believe what brown this belt is. This is a Tommy Hilfiger brand. And that is one of my favourite things about Amazon Fashion is that there are so, so many different, like, designers and brands and just so much choice on there. And I definitely think it's one of those places where sometimes you wouldn't think to look for these kind of items, but actually they have so many gorgeous pieces from different brands on there. I love Tommy Hilfiger. I think it's such a gorgeous, like, really classic, really, like, heritage brand to England which I think is just so so lovely they have really really gorgeous pieces and when I saw this belt I got so so excited I feel like these kind of very like thin very like narrow belts are really really in at the moment and they're so so flattering especially on our petite frames I think I've touched on this before and I mentioned it in passing a couple of times one thing I do sometimes struggle with being a shorter girl is thick belts because we've got obviously like a shorter torso compared to like most people and because obviously we're a little bit like you know vertically challenged sometimes having a belt that's quite thick can really take over way too much of your torso like i personally have a really short torso and if i wear a belt that's too thick it can literally take over the entirety of my waist and give me like no definition at all so i really wanted something that was going to cinch in the dress without being too much and i really really love this it's this stunning like brown color i think goes so so nicely with white i think it's absolutely gorgeous and i love the little i need to take the plastic off but look how cute the little Tommy Hilfiger logo was like it's not too much but it's a really really nice nod to the brand so I'm just so excited to be adding this into my wardrobe I think it's going to be such a great summer staple and the kind of belt that I'm going to get a lot of wear out of now this next item if you watched my Zara haul you might not be surprised to see this because I found the cutest little basket bag from Zara but the main thing I said about it was I just wish it was white rather than yellow because then I'd get so much more wear out of it well I found on Amazon fashion the perfect basket bag and it's white this is very very similar to the one that I saw in Zara it's so so cute it's a little bit bigger actually which I kind of like because I feel like you're gonna be able to fit more in it I did worry about that Zara one because it was quite small I was like how much am I gonna fit in it pretty much filled it up with my phone and my wallet so I was really really unsure so I'm definitely decided I'm gonna take back that Zara one and this is my new little basket baby isn't it so so cute i love the white leather on top i think it's really really nice it's going to go with so much in my wardrobe because as you guys know i have a very very neutral wardrobe but i also find with regards to like my accessories and my bags i like to keep them quite neutral in case i do want to style up a bit of color there's nothing worse than like colors clashing not being able to wear a bag because it doesn't go with enough in your wardrobe if you go with something that's like really classic really timeless and really easy to style like a neutral color it's going to go with so so much and you're gonna get so much wear out of i feel like basket bags are just a must in summer and as you guys know i've got my really oversized one i've got like a little kind of handheld one i've not got one this kind of shape and i've definitely noticed a big increase in this shape at the moment i think it's a really really gorgeous shape and i just think it's so so cute a lovely little bag to add into your wardrobe and as i said it's perfect because it's white on top and this is exactly what i was looking for okay i'm just having a little drinks break and I'm literally just thinking about how many pieces in my home are from Amazon. Like I genuinely think it's one of those things where I didn't even realise myself how many there were. Like for example, literally my little Starbucks cup that I've got here, which I absolutely love. I always bring it out with me if I'm wanting to go to Starbucks and like get a little coffee, an iced coffee or something like that. I've got my winter one which is like you know a hot beverage cup and then this is my summer one and then what i also do when i'm at home is i fill it up with my lemon squash and i would just drink it throughout the day and it's a great way to remind me to drink stuff like i love drinking out of a straw i don't know if anyone else finds that i love drinking out of a straw and it means i can just leave it anywhere and then it will remind me you know it'll be beside me and i'm like oh need to drink some more water and it's so easy to transport like obviously i can just put it on the floor like take it around with me and I completely forgot it was from Amazon, so I'll link this down below as well, along with all the links to the items in this haul. Honestly, guys, Amazon is my lifesaver when it comes to everything in my wardrobe and my home. Okay, and next item I wanted to show you is another little white dress. 
and I am in love with this. Now, I don't know if you remember a haul a few months ago where I picked up this really, really gorgeous, quite similar dress. It was like a black linen from H&M. And I said in that haul, I wish they did this in white. And I think it had sold out and it just never came back into stock. And I was really upset because I loved the style of it. I loved the fit. And obviously that kind of like linen-y fabric, the like strappy fabric is so, so perfect for summer. So when I saw this on Amazon Fashion, I literally gasped. I was like, oh my God, that is exactly what I have been looking for. It's so, so gorgeous. Such an Ellie dress. I absolutely love it. It's got these gorgeous like very light buttons running down it, which I really love. I find a lot of brands with these kinds of dresses do like very oversized like tortoise shell buttons. They do quite dark buttons and sometimes it's a little bit much. So I really like the fact that they've got these really light buttons running down. It. I think they're so, so gorgeous. They're not actually functional buttons, but it's like a really stretchy it's got a sheared fabric on the back so it means it's really easy to get on and off and i just feel like these kind of dresses are so great for heat waves because they're so lightweight especially if you like wearing midi dresses like i do i know it's like a bit of a controversial one like it's a little bit of a marmite thing you either love midi dresses or you hate them and i know a lot of you guys are the same as me you love wearing midi dresses like you'd rather wear a midi than a mini and in heat waves like you really need to be careful about the fabric that you're wearing about the kind of like lightweightness of the dress if you are wanting to wear a midi because it is more material there but i just personally feel a lot more comfortable in them i feel a lot more confident in them and i just think they're really really flattering so i'm so excited to be adding this into my wardrobe what a find on Amazon fashion. I'm so happy. Okay, now I'm going to move on to a couple of the boxes that are sitting here because I feel like these are just staring at me right now. And the first are a little pair of shoes that I'm so, so excited about. When I saw these online, I fell in love. Now, you guys know I love my sliders. Absolutely love my sliders. I've got my Chloe sliders. I've got lots of high street sliders and I just adore them. And I've realised actually there's a colour that has been missing in my slider wardrobe and I saw these online and I was like well this is the pair that is going to fill that colour void and I just fell in love with these. How gorgeous are these? They're from a brand called Buffalo which I've never actually heard of before but I love, 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 love the details that they have going over the strap. I feel like when it comes to sliders the details going over the strap is actually so so important because that's the main part that you see of the slider and like that's the main kind of like part of the shoe and basically when I saw these I was like I don't have a pair of pink blush sliders in my wardrobe and I need a pair of pink blush sliders in my wardrobe they're gonna go so so much in my wardrobe they're like quite a warm pink actually which I think is quite nice because I think most of the neutrals that I have in my wardrobe are quite warm toned like I think sometimes when it comes to neutrals you can either go too weighty and go very warm or very cool and just personally for me and my skin tone I definitely think the warmer colors suit me better and I think with the tan these are gonna look so so gorgeous and one of the things I love most about them is the fact that they're really squishy I know a lot of you always ask me questions about my Chloe sliders and one thing that I get a lot of feedback on is the fact that they're very flat on your feet and there's not a lot of cushioning which I totally get so if you're wanting a pair of sliders that can be really really comfortable give you a lot more support and are really really cushioned I feel like these are the pair for you I'm so excited about them and they're like a fraction of the price so of course they're linked down below I'm so excited to be adding these into my wardrobe I feel like I'm gonna get a hell of a lot of wear out of these this summer okay now this next item is actually one that I shared on my stories back on Amazon Prime Day and I shared it with you guys and you guys went nuts. Like, honestly, I don't think I've had so many swipe ups on a story in my life. So many of you guys bought these dresses and I love them. And I know I have a lot of kind of same Z dresses, obviously lots of like white, very neutral dresses. So I wanted to pick up one of the dresses from this like collection, but I wanted to be a bit brave. And I feel like you guys can be really proud of me. Isn't this just the most gorgeous shade of yellow? I'm so in love with that. I'm really, really getting into my yellows and orange tones this summer. I even did like a whole reel about how to style like yellows. There was lots of like yellows and oranges in that. And I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And loads of you guys commented saying that yellow sits so nicely on my skin tone. Like a nice dark yellow. Like this kind of colour. Or darker and I actually totally agree like I think sometimes there are some colors that I really struggle to wear and I definitely think anything lighter than this isn't gonna match my skin tone but this kind of color and darker goes so so well with my skin I don't know what it is but it just sits so nicely so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link the other colorways of this dress down below as well if you did want to shop them because they are gorgeous like they these dresses come in white pink black 
there's a couple of like patterned ones i think there's a blue one a purple one obviously this gorgeous like mustard yellow there's so so many so i would definitely definitely recommend picking them up i will link them all down below because they're so gorgeous they're like such a stunning silhouette this really like bridgerton style you guys know i love this very like feminine silhouette really like tapered stunning dress now it's a little bit thicker than the other dresses so i'd say maybe this one isn't quite for like heat wave styling but when it's like a nice weather you want to be sat in a garden or maybe if you're going somewhere that's going to go into the evening because as soon as that sun sets in britain it's chilly like it gets chilly so maybe if you're going somewhere that's like drinks it's going to turn into something like a bit more evening i think this is so so gorgeous i'm absolutely in love with it i cannot wait to style this up and I'm not gonna lie, I have saved the best item till last. You'll be able to see this over here. And as I was saying before, one of my favorite things about shopping on Amazon Fashion is how many gorgeous brands there are on there. Not only how many gorgeous brands there are, but also the prices. Like I often find that sometimes I'll find a price of something online, I'll check the same item on Amazon Fashion and I'll find it there for a much better price. I think this is probably the best price I've ever seen these shoes anywhere on the internet, which, is insane now i've wanted a pair of these shoes for a very very long time you guys will know i have my Suzanne espadrilles which i love but when it comes to espadrilles i feel like these are just this is the motherland of espadrilles and that is castagna i have wanted a pair of castagna wedges for so so long they are such a like classic summer item and they're the kind of thing that just you will have in your wardrobe year on year on year they never go out of style they're really really comfortable and you can style them up so many different ways so that being said i picked myself up a pair of castagna wedges i'm in love with these they are absolutely gorgeous i love 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 how they look i think they're gonna be so stunning i picked these up in a 36 which i'm really really excited about i'm like a 36 and a half i'm between 36 and a 37 i always find when it comes to heels i'll go down to a 36 because the way that your feet kind of like move i find it's better to be a little bit smaller than a little bit bigger that being said i do have quite narrow feet so just something to like be aware of but i feel like with the material of this with the fabric of it the fact that it's very like natural fibers and everything it should stretch a little bit so the more that i wear them the more comfortable they will become one thing i love about them is how kind of sturdy they feel like you're tied in around your ankle which means that you're not gonna be falling about and i love that they're not too big you guys know i'm not really the biggest heel kind of a gal like i don't love wearing heels i don't love wearing like stilettos or anything i can't really walk in them honestly like whenever i go out with friends and i'm wearing like big heels i literally teeter about like i honestly i look like a barbie doll like i can't walk properly so i like to be able to wear ones that are not too high just give me a little bit of elevation a really really comfortable really easy to style really easy to wear and this is that pair for me so i'm so over the moon that i've added these into my wardrobe and the fact that you can get these on amazon fashion you can order them within a couple of days to arrive just it blows my mind it absolutely blows my mind so of course i'll link these down below as well they had a couple of different colorways as well as the black but obviously because i had my white sazam ones i wanted to get these in black and also you guys know me you know my wardrobe you know i love black even in summertime i think it's just so classic so that's my little amazon fashion haul now let's get into the styling of these items because i cannot wait to style these up i have so many ideas of how i'm going to wear these for the heat wave for all the hot weather that we've got coming I was so excited. Oh my goodness, is this not just the most adorable little like garden party, barbecue, drinks with friends, kind of an outfit. I love this so, so much. I love how the belt looks. It sits so, so nicely. And what I love is the fact that it's not... Like it's kind of um, just like pinched at the back, which is so, so nice. It means that you can loosen it a little bit if you've eaten a few too many hot dogs. I love the Tommy Hilfiger like logo there. It's really subtle and looks really, really nice. And I love the brown against the white. I think brown and white for summer is so flattering. Now I was planning on styling it up with the sliders, but actually I think the espadrilles are just a little bit more flattering. I think that because of the length of this, you need something that's going to elongate your legs a little bit. And I definitely think the espadrilles do that. They are so comfortable. I'm definitely glad that I got the 36 because they fit perfectly absolutely perfectly so maybe just something to note that if you are between sizes like i am it's probably best to size down in these but they look absolutely adorable i love the little bows on them and i love the heel height like it's such a comfortable heel height like these to me could actually be 
everyday heels and I am not an everyday heels kind of a gal but I definitely think that I could get away with wearing these during the day and I would be able to last all day. I actually really like the length of this. Normally I find things that just hit my knees aren't the most flattering but I think because of the scalloped edges to this dress it's actually really really flattering especially start up with shoes that deliberately elongate your legs. I think that looks really really nice. I am loving this as an outfit. I think it's so so adorable. I am ready ready for the heat wave, ready to be sitting in someone's garden, looking beautiful, drinking Pims, eating hot dogs. That is the life. That is the life that we've all been waiting for this summer. Oh my god, guys, this dress! Oh my word, I'm in love with this. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it's actually a lot dressier than I was expecting. I think that's mainly down to the length. Obviously, they're not designed for petite girls. <laughs> and as a very short girl, it does come down on me a lot longer than it's kind of like made to. So it's a lot more maxi on me. But actually, I love that. I think it looks so, so beautiful. I think if you're looking for like a budget-friendly wedding guest dress outfit, any one of these colours, bar the white one, would be perfect. Would be absolutely perfect. They are so so gorgeous and i love it with the little espadrilles the castagna espadrilles just poking out from underneath i think they look so so cute i've started up with the basket bag because i think that looks absolutely adorable very like summery very like summer vibes i think it's just gorgeous this dress is absolutely beautiful so i think if you've got something that you need to be a little bit more dressed up for this is the dress for you this is beautiful the sleeves are so so flattering and they do sit really really nicely i know i always get questions about these kinds of sleeves is are not moving like they are designed so well they are made so so beautifully and also one thing i really really like which i do sometimes struggle with these kind of sheared fabrics is when it's not designed for petite girls sometimes they can come down too low this actually hits directly on the smallest part of my waist which is almost never happens like I'm so excited about the fact that it's, it's so beautiful, which means it comes out at my hips really, really nicely and is so, so flattering. So I'm really happy with this one. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous, styled up with the little bag and the little shoes. I am just in love with this. And then definitely the most casual look of them all, the kind of just sitting in the garden, chilling, wanting to be really super comfortable is the white button down dress. And I love how it looks. I've started up with the sliders. I've still got the tag on this one I need to take off. Um, but I love how it looks with the sliders because I think because they kind of like almost match my skin tone. It really elongates your legs and it makes your ankles look a lot slimmer, which I really, really like. I love how simplistic this dress is. And actually, I think I could style this up with the Tommy Hilfiger belt as well. Let's try it. Oh, that is just so cute. I think if you want it to be like really super casual, just wear it without the belt. If you want to style it up a little bit, the belt and bag just complete it. I love 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 how this looks now i know i'm gonna get asked lots of questions about how see-through the dresses because whenever we wear white we're always like a little bit of a concern with how see-through the dress is and i am just wearing nude underwear and you cannot see it at all at all i mean obviously i'm always saying when it comes to white don't wear black underwear <laughs> just wear something nude um and it will be absolutely fine i've also got a nude bra and you can't see it i really like the um design up here and how kind of like short it is because I was a little bit worried because the straps aren't adjustable that it was going to be too long. It fits so perfectly. I'm really, really happy with everything from this haul. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. These dresses are so my vibe, like really elegant, feminine midi dresses that are still so, so perfect for a heat wave. So I can't wait for the weather to get hotter now. I am ready for it. I've honestly just been thinking about like how much in my home really is from Amazon, whether that's like Amazon fashion or just like Amazon in general. Um, one of the things that I always, always, always get questions about is my rail. I absolutely love this rail because it's really like tiny and neat and just tucks away in the corner. That is actually from Amazon, one of my favorite, favorite purchases because it's just such a gorgeous rail and it just, as I said, tucks so, so nicely in the corner. I love just styling up like my favorite pieces there and just kind of like styling this corner. Obviously you see this corner all the time in my videos. So for anyone that's ever wondered, ever DM'd me asking where this rail is from, Amazon. So I will link it down below along with everything from this video because I just get so, so many DMs from you guys. And it's honestly one of my best Amazon purchases I think I have ever made. And as well as in my office, 
There's also loads of Amazon things in, just like the rest of the flat as well, such as my coffee table books. I adore coffee table books, like my Dior book. I've got obviously like my White Company one, my Le Beautiful one. I love, 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 love coffee table books. And I love how they style up on shelves. Like you guys know how much I am a fan of these shelves. Like I'm so proud of my shelves, you guys know. I always love styling them up. And I always, always, always get my coffee table books from Amazon, mainly because they're just so much cheaper. Like that's always the best place that I find them. Like the best price is on Amazon. And I'm not gonna lie, I do have the Louis Vuitton one high on my radar right now. And I'm really tempted to get it because I think I really wanna get the full collection of these designer books. Like there's the Dior, the Chanel, the Louis Vuitton, the Prada, the, um, YSL, like so, so many. And I really, really love Louis Vuitton. And I just love the color of that book. So I'm really tempted to get that one and add that one to my collection. Um, but yeah, I'll also link all of my books, my favorite coffee table books, which you can pick all of them up from Amazon. So it's quite a while later now, which you can probably tell from my very tired eyes. <laughs> I've basically spent the rest of my day just catching up on a lot of worky stuff, doing a lot of like ad mini bits, things that, you know, just need it to be done so I feel like my eyes are looking really really tired because I've just been staring at a screen and I can't wear my blue light glasses when I've got contacts in because obviously they're prescription so I think I need to invest in a pair of non-prescription blue light glasses because I do definitely find they help a lot when I am like staring at my computer so if I look very tired that is why um but little foundation update I love it I think it's really really nice it's definitely a lot more lightweight than the NARS one which means it's less coverage but also means that it feels more lightweight so if you're looking for a really nice lightweight foundation then i definitely recommend this i would also say it's a bit less moisturizing than the nars one so if you are someone with really really oily skin like my sister has very oily skin i think she would love this because she really struggles with tinted moisturizers just because she has such oily skin so i think she will love this whereas i think because my skin's a little bit drier I think maybe like on days when I have like really dry skin days, I wouldn't be able to reach for this foundation. But on days where it's going to be really, really hot and muggy and I'm going to be sweaty, I think this is going to be the perfect foundation or tint of moisturizer, sorry, to use. I think it's going to be absolutely perfect. So I really rate it actually, really, really like it. So I know a few of you guys have been asking me to like try it out and stuff. So hopefully that is helpful for you if you're after a new tint of moisturizer, something for the hot weather, or if you're going on holiday, I think this will be a really, really nice holiday tinted moisturizer. But I just wanted to say that it's honestly so, so nice being able to work with brands that I not only have been a customer of for years and years and years, but also just love with every fibre of my being. So I'm so, so excited about today's video and about the Amazon fashion haul in today's video because honestly, there are so many gorgeous pieces in that haul and I would definitely recommend heading over to my blog. If you like reading blog posts and you like like fashion roundups or home roundups, I do a lot of these kind of like the best Amazon home finds or like the best Amazon fashion finds on my blog because I love, love doing them because I think it's such a nice way to like round up my favorite pieces, have them in like a really like cohesive, easy to find like format and show you like all my favorite pieces that are on there right now. Um, so make sure you're going and following me over on my blog, petitelly.com as well. I think a lot of people don't realize that I have a blog as well, um, but I do. And I love, love, love blogging just as much as I love filming and vlogging and Instagram and all that jazz. I love being able to like use all of my different platforms. Um, so I just wanted to say, I hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to be able to work with these amazing brands and brands that I love two pieces. I really hope you guys enjoy seeing all these Amazon fashion pieces. I hope this has inspired you. Maybe it surprised you. Maybe there was a brand on there that you had no idea that Amazon stock. If you have gotten this far in this video, leave me the sun emoji down below in the comments because I always love knowing who gets this far in these videos because I'm aware I'm a bit of a rambler. I love chatting through these pieces like really extensively, talking about why I love them, how I'm gonna be styling them. I'm so, so excited about this warm weather we're having. I'm so excited for the heat wave and hopefully being able to get away this summer. Let me know if you have a holiday booked as well because I think a lot of these pieces would be perfect for like holiday styling, holiday fashion, 
I'm so in love with everything from this haul. Like, I think it's not often that I love absolutely everything from a haul. So it's always really, really nice when there's not a single thing that's going to go back. So yeah, I'm really, really happy. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed seeing my fashion finds, and make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave the sun emoji in the comments down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.